So here we're looking at a histogram, which is basically just a bar graph, except on the horizontal axis, there's just a, um, a range of numbers. So this first bar represents everything from one up to, but not including six. So everything from one to five will be in here. In the second bar, this is everything from six, not all the way to 11, but just short of 11. So this would be six through 10 is, uh, that's how many items are in here. Uh, 11 through 15, not 16, but 15 will be in this next one. All right, based on the histogram above, what is the class width? So you could count this on your fingers. So they all should have the same width. So it doesn't matter which ones you look at. I'm gonna look at the first two. If you count on your fingers, we're going from one to five. So one, two, three, four, five. So the class width should be five because if any value is between one and five, it's gonna land in this first class right here. So you could just type in five and go that way. Sometimes these numbers are a bit far away to count. There's another way to get five from one and six. If you subtract big minus small. Now I know on six minus one is pretty trivial to compute, but sometimes these numbers are not so nice and you can just subtract two adjacent ones. I can do that with any two adjacent numbers, 21 minus 16. Uh, you also get 5, 31 minus 26, you'd also get 5. So that's several ways to get the class width. All right, I'm going to hit submit, and then we're going to go look at the sample size. <clears throat> sample size is a total number of values here. So there are six values in the first bit right here, and then three values here, 9, 4, eight and 10. All we have to do is add up the total number of values in all of these. So we're gonna go with total equals. And remember, start with the equal sign here. So the first one was six plus three plus nine plus four plus eight plus 10. And remember, I just looked at each one of these one at a time and type those numbers in. Make sure you have your equals at the beginning and hit enter, should give you the total right there. Okay, that's all there is to this question. There will be some questions that are similar and it might ask you uh, how many values are 21 and above. So if it was 21 and above, that would be not the total number of values overall, but just the two uh, number of values added together. So if it was 21 and above, I would add the eight to the 10 and get 18. Uh, sometimes it may say between two numbers and you just have to say, oh, well, it's these three bars, the number in these three bars added together. So just pay attention to what they're asking. Most questions are only gonna ask you about basically the height of one bar, but some of them are gonna ask about several bars. You have to add all the heights together.